Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new reaction video. Okay, so today is gonna to be a little bit different than normal. So I originally was going to do just a normal reaction to piercing stuff like I normally do on Instagram. However, I've decided to address an image that has been sent to me countless times. I mean, literally, joking aside, this video, this image has been sent to me and a news story about like a hundred times. So this is basically a guy who has removed both of his conches, both sides, left and right, and it's basically a big hole now, and this is obviously the photo just after it's been stitched up together. And this has been used in a press story, and oh my lord, there's so much I want to say. I don't see this image and actually cringe and go mental like I do with most of the normal stuff that I do react to, which I know might seem a little bit weird because normally I'm like, oh my god, trot along bitch, choo-choo, all aboard the trigger train. I want to stress something about this image and the news story. So basically there's this news story going around, and it basically was titled, I mean there's so many different variations of it, it's like, man, removes both conches in horrifying new body modification trend. So many things about that title that I disagree with already and can debunk. So first of all, I would like to say, I have this, just a very smaller version of it. You know, as I do talk about sometimes, I do have a six millimeter hole inside my conch. Now, hopefully you can see it. So when I see this, I don't think of this person as crazy as the press want to say. I don't see this person as insane. This is not a new trend. This is not a new thing. Even a lot of you who have sent me this stuff has been like, look at this new thing, this new thing. This is not a new thing. This is a very common uh, practice in the body modification world, in the underground world. A lot of people get conch removal, like to different levels, different sizes. This is obviously a lot more to the extreme level, but it's not a new thing. This is not a new thing. This has been going on for years. But not only that, I was also really annoyed that they've promoted this as a new trend. This is not a trend. This is an extreme modification that people get to themselves. A septum piercing is a trend. A few years ago, suddenly there was a massive explosion of people getting septum piercing. Even celebrities, loads of people getting it done. That is a trend. Removing your conch is not a trend. This is not something that an average person would just go and do. Only people who really love modification are going to go and do this. This is not something that George from year 12 or year 11, whatever, will see and go, oh, that looks trendy. I'm gonna remove my entire conch. No, that's just, th this kind of modification is not a trend. This is not a thing that's suddenly spreading around like the tramp stamps did back in the day. I, I remember when I was in school, every single guy in school had like a gem at the top of their ear here and every single guy did it and it was like a thing, everyone did it. Like those are trends. Removing your conch is not a trend. So with all that being said, it does move me on to another story that has recently happened. So. I have been asked um, last month to go on two different TV shows to talk about modification. I turned them down because I knew that it was going to be basically me versus someone who doesn't like them and basically me defending my right to exist and I don't want to do that. Now the reason I was asked was because recently a guy called Brendan, well his sort of name was Dr. Evil, which didn't really help his case, has been sentenced to jail for like two, I think it was two years, two or three years, because he's been performing like illegal surgeries on people. He like removed someone's ear, he also had been doing tongue splitting, and I think he removed someone's nipples, I think someone asked to have the nipples removed, he did that. Um, and now in the UK that is considered illegal, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I want to do an entire video about illegal piercings anyway, but so so these things are um, known as illegal, even if it is consensual. So if the other person, if I if I go to someone and consent to having my tongue split and they do it, and I was an undercover reporter, so I think they could get in trouble. It's ridiculous, like people's bodies are people's bodies. I think it's crazy that you would um, say what you can and can't do. There are things that I don't like and would say to people, why would you do that and get confused? But I would never say, you know, if you, you live your life, girl, even though I don't agree with like piercing your, Achilles heel, like, and I would say you're absolutely stupid to do that. If you want to go and do it, do it, it's your life, but you know, it's ridiculous. But I don't think people should be arrested and put in jail for it. Now, I will admit, I do think that a lot of these ex more extreme modifications, I think there will be people who have body dysmorphia, and I'm not going to take away from that because there will be people who have suffered, the same people who get like loads and loads and loads of plastic surgery. There are people who suffer with genuine conditions that need to be addressed rather than modifying yourself. If you are going to go to more of like an extreme level, there should be maybe some precautions involved, like in procedure to make sure that the person doing it is doing it because they want it and not because they're suffering from a disorder. I don't know how you would go around doing that, but I think making the whole thing illegal is ridiculous because I would like to have my tongue split. I would love that. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Again, I'm of perfect sound mind, I guess. Again, I'm trying not to be offensive when I say this kind of stuff, but I'm using it just because 
you know, we get demonized as if we're psychotic. I would like to have that done, but I can't. I would also, again, like to have a little bit more of my conch taken out, not because I hate myself or I hate my body. I just like the way it looks and I think it's cool. So yes, I have been sent this image several times and I know a lot of you are probably expecting me to be completely triggered like I normally am, but like because of the story and everything around it, I've became more angry and more involved in this one because normally I'd just throw away, I'm like, I never see an image and be like, oh, I don't like that. And then I never see it again. I mean, maybe I'm being hypocritical because there are some things I'm like, ugh, about, but then we all have our own limits. Like I said about an last about how many piercings and how many piercings are too many. We all have our own limits. We all have our things that we love and what we dislike. And again, I know a lot of the time I do these videos and say, why would you do that? Why would you do that? That's fine. And I do stand by everything I say. I never say anything I don't agree with. I'd never ever once would say something that I don't stand by. Me telling people not to pierce their Achilles heel because it could stop them from walking is different than someone removing some of their conch. Like, the, 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 you know, there are levels. It's the same as when someone said to me a little while ago, they said, how can you say to someone not to pierce the eyelids when you've got a bit of your conch removed? But I was like, well, that's because piercing your eyelids has a potential to make you go blind. The risk levels of this and this are completely different. You just can't compare the two. It makes no sense. I really hate the fact that, you know, modified people are so discriminated against as stains on society as if we're nothing. We're, we're you know, la you know we're, we're lazy people who just live on welfare, who don't have work, who don't job. And it's just like, it's stupid and I, I hate it. And this is a perfect example of it, how this person's modified themselves and all of a sudden, instead of like people trying to understand it, be like, why have you done that? It's more of like, you're a psychotic person. And some of the comments on these like stories and stuff are just like, they should die, waste of society. And I'm like, they're just living their life and having a nice time. You're the one saying that they should die and that like, they're wasted. You're the one spreading all this hatred. I think you're the waste of society here, babes, not us. <laughs> and that's the tea. And also like the thing is with the press and like the no normal society, it's like, where is their line as well? Because the press will demonize you know, people who do extreme stuff. And like, well, am I, would I be considered that as well? Like, so when I was asked to go on these TV shows, I was like, am I being asked because they consider what I am too much and I'm going to be vilified by the press and vilified by these TV shows and have to really defend who I am because they think what I am is too much. And I know like, I've got, you know, I've got so like my, my piece of Veronica, she's got her eyeballs tattooed. You know, she's had lots of modification, mo modifications in her time. And I see her and I don't for once look at Veronica and say, you know, I think you've gone too far or I think you've done too much. I think she's fucking beautiful. And I know that like she's been demonized quite a lot in the press as well from Poland and in England, um, especially by the BBC, um, which has been horrendous. I just think it's funny that it's all the people who are spreading the hatred think they're the nice ones. And that's the scary thing. The hateful people think they are nice and think they are doing good in society. Like the amount of comments I get of people saying they love my videos and they love what I do and they've given them so much hope. And then people will look at me and be like, you're a state of society, you're doing, you're doing nothing but hurt, hateful, hateful stuff, yet, I'm constantly told that I'm helping people basically survive. And it's just, th those are the crazy people. Like they're the mental ones who think they are the nice ones. Like trot along, bitch. So this was just a little extra video for the week, just ad addressing this photo, because I know a lot of you wanted me to talk about it. And I know this isn't probably the way you thought I was going to, but it's actually something I feel really strongly about. My view on this was kind of tainted by the, the story around it rather than the actual photo itself. Anyway, guys, we're back in a couple days for a proper new video. I got a vlog coming out with Callum very soon. I know you guys have missed him. So look out for that. Please hit the like button because this really, really, really helped me out. Share with your friends, all the good kind of stuff. Come and follow social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the stuff is down below. I love you guys. Be fast, amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. Don't need a bitch with those hate on me because you are flawless.